without a doubt, the most damage that I've ever seen on a tree from the fox squirrel here in Iowa. Generally, it's our large trees that they go after, and they really threaten our veteran tree stands. In this case, they're going after a lower one that's bordering a green space, most likely due to feeding the birds. We generally will put a squirrel guard on to prevent their traffic up and down the tree. But in this case, due to it being smaller, we're not gonna be able to. Uh, the fox squirrel is called invasive in other parts of the country, but really their population just spirals out of control in the urban environment, and that's really our problem. And in this case, it's costing us a lot of trees. So we're gonna get into a relocation and move them into the rural environment to attempt to save some trees in this area. It would be virtually impossible to retain this tree with the continued damage that's occurring. Normally we'd do a squirrel guard. That would be the preferred method to do a little behavior modification, but due to the low profile of this tree, it's not gonna be possible. And so we're gonna take the next step, relocate. Uh, there was a study I read off the East Coast that they had some success with that. And we've been doing it here on extreme situations and this would be one of them. Some of the things we can do to prevent these populations is limit bird feeders. In this case, we have, let's just say a lot. And so I feed some birds around my house, but you generally wanna stay away from putting your feeders around trees and try to keep them uh, spread out a little bit more than this. It's gonna be a huge benefit to spreading out the squirrel populations. And my guess is that it's not that tree that's just affected. If I get into some of the other trees in this area, you can see girdling uh, that's going on at the base. One more point to make is that they bury their food in the ground. Uh, they cause cankers all the time. They'll get in the soil during the winter foraging uh, their stored food, and then they'll come up the tree and girdle branches, injecting fungi, canker-causing canker fungi, into the tree. And so you can see even on this other tree here, we have a lot of damage that is probably gonna cost uh, the tree owner this tree as well. And so something that not a lot of people are aware of, we're getting really active with in Iowa because while these trees are small and maybe they don't have the uh, large impact on our environment, the big ones do. And the problem is generally you don't see the damage because it's so far up in the tree on the big ones. So a few simple steps is going to help us keep our trees.